Who do you think of today when you think of the word celebrity? Defined in the Oxford English Dictionary as a famous person, especially in entertainment or sport, the meaning of the word celebrity has altered greatly over the years. Today, contrary to the definition, famous people are not only seen in entertainment and sport. A growing shift in celebrity culture has been apparent over the years, with the introduction of reality television and internet sites such as YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. Derived from the Latin word celeber, meaning frequented or populous, celebrities first came about in ancient Roman times. Celebrities were gods and Olympic athletes, heroes and leaders in the eyes of the general public. While monarchs and political leaders were also famous, they couldn't compete with the fame of these others. However, as the Dark Ages came around, sporting heroes were forgotten and attention was instead focused on religious and spiritual figures. It was during the Renaissance period that artists started to be recognised for their personal achievements. And soon these celebrities rose above monarchs, religious figures and athletes in the world of celebrity status. The early 1900s showed film actors and actresses grow to become the epitome of stardom. With the printing and publications industry rapidly growing at this time, people were starting to grow interested in those who lived a glamorous Hollywood lifestyle. But today, ordinary people are grabbing their own fame wherever they can. The introduction of the internet and reality TV shows has given various people with very little perceived talent a time in the limelight. No longer are celebrities famous for achieving something, but can be famous for a multitude of reasons. Has the definition of the word celebrity become lost over the years? Over the course of this programme, I'll be exploring the shift in celebrity culture, as well as chatting to various people who all think of celebrities differently, from those who have a career working with the rich and famous, to those who want nothing more than to be a celebrity themselves. I began by speaking to big names in the TV business to discover what they think the true meaning of the word celebrity is. What The definition of a celebrity is somebody who has achieved something, somebody who is widely recognised for what they've what they've done. That's my definition of what makes a celebrity. I think the wider definition of what makes a celebrity is, is the bar is far lower. Well, I think there are people who are famous for a reason and there are people who are famous for being famous. And I suppose what we mean by a celebrity now is the latter. It's the people who are famous simply for being famous. Um, other people, you know, get in the newspapers, appear on television because they've got a skill. They can play football or they can sing or whatever. But these celebrities are people who are famous simply for being in the papers. Um, a number of different things can make a celebrity, but the end result is something that stops them being a nobody. And start, they start a new life as being somebody that other people recognise, for good or bad. This shift in celebrity culture has made us all feel like we can become famous. Shows like Big Brother, X Factor and Britain's Got Talent dominate our screens throughout different parts of the year and are discussed at length over social networking sites like Facebook and Twitter. These shows allow their contestants to jump straight into the fast lane on their route to becoming a celebrity. But many are often ridiculed by the judges and the audience, meaning they become famous for all the wrong reasons. Is it so appealing to achieve this kind of fame? Well, why would you not want to be a celebrity? I mean, you get money, you get fame. <laughs> Um, I think when people set out to become celebrities, they don't quite understand that there are also downsides to it. That there's an intrusiveness, that you can't actually go anywhere without people following you or watching you. People write negative things as well as positive things about you. So I, I, I think sometimes when they get there, the dream doesn't live up to the reality. But I can see why people like the idea that they might be taken to premieres, they might drive around in limousines, they might be written about in the newspapers. I can absolutely understand why that appears attractive on the surface. I'm not sure it's quite so good when you're there. Currently we are seeing celebrities not only on the big screens but everywhere we look. 24 million people tuned in to watch the marriage of Prince William and Kate Middleton. Former X Factor contestant Rylan Clark is still a big part of television, appearing on Celebrity Big Brother and being offered a presenting job despite being told he couldn't sing. And a video of a man selling fish for one pound in a London market received over 11 million views on YouTube. The media and the internet have brought these people to our attention and given them fame. But their time in the bright lights is limited with these types of celebrities being only able to entertain us with the original cause of their fame. Well, with the exception of Kate Middleton, her star status now proves that the monarchy is still celebrated even today. There are more celebrities in the making even now. But with celebrity culture always changing, how will future stars make their name? 
Hopeful actor James Attias, a drama student at the University of Northampton, claims there is nothing he wouldn't do to become a celebrity. Well, you look nervous. Is it the scars? Well, when I started out, I thought, OK, I want to be an actor, so the only thing you can do is drama. I didn't know about any acting courses or any other stuff, so I thought drama's the thing for me. And when I got here, they said, if you want to do drama, you want to teach, but it'll help with your acting, so it's the best I'm going to get. You want to know how I got them? Come here. Look at me. <laughs> when I realised I couldn't be a footballer or um, like a spy or a superhero, but I still wanted to be all of them, so the only way I could be all of them is if I was acting like all of them. <laughs> See, I had a wife, beautiful, like you. She tells me I worry too much. She tells me I ought to smile more. I think fame is really appealing in the sense that, like, people want to be trendsetters, people want to be the person that other people look up to. And because not many people, like these days, our generation don't look up to people like politicians or people like that, I think people in movies and people who are on the front cover of, like, magazines, they're the ones that the young people aspire to. So like the pull of the celebrity really is like to impress people. Everyone wants to have their name remembered. James believes that for him, Hollywood is the place to go. And when asked where he'd like to be in five years time, he described himself working in America with a good deal of acting experience already under his belt and his own agent. But the ultimate dream is for the general public to start knowing his name. This is one actor who knows exactly what he wants. But just how far will he go to get it? Part of me wants to say I'd keep my principles, I'd never like sell out, but if it meant doing what I wanted to do, there's not, there's not a lot that I wouldn't do. James said he would do almost anything to become a famous actor. But there are a lot of people who are trying to grab fame from wherever they can. Rylan Clark was quoted saying in The Guardian that he just wanted to be famous, he didn't care what for. Do the sort of people who apply for reality TV shows like Big Brother and X Factor deserve to be celebrities? I continued speaking to Richard Frediani, who explained more about the huge shift in celebrity culture over the years. Everybody wants to be famous for 15 minutes. So we all want to be celebrities. We, you know, Many people want to be recognised. I think what's interesting about the celebrity culture now is that, as I say, 20 years ago, being a celebrity was being a major household na name. Nowadays, you don't just have A-list celebrities like, you know, David Beckham or some major movie star like Tom Hanks. You have B-list celebrities, C-list celebrities, D-list celebrities, and God forbid if you're in this bin, a Z-list celebrity. Stars of Celebrity Big Brother or stars of Big Brother uh, often are, are famous for a few weeks, but then they become celebrities because they appear in heat or they are splashed over the front page of the Daily Star and they are a celebrity in their own right but are they truly a celebrity? It is true that we've seen a shift in celebrity culture over the years with the introduction of reality television programmes and popular websites such as YouTube, Facebook and Twitter coming to our attention. Ordinary people suddenly have a bigger chance of becoming famous than they did back in ancient Roman times when only the gods and true heroes were celebrated. Yet, during the London Olympics 2012, Britain came together to support their modern sporting heroes. Suddenly we had true celebrities to look up to, to aspire to be, to cheer on. And it seems, since then, we've become tired of reality television and the less than great celebrities we see on our screens. Statistics show that the X Factor gradually went down from 12.03 million viewers to 9.82 million after London 2012 and other reality television shows are also facing a decline in audience figures. Are we seeing another shift in celebrity culture? The London Olympics has managed to remind us all what true heroes look like, and now we're seeing reality television in a different light. What does this mean for the future of celebrities? Perhaps the dictionary definition of celebrity should be rethought, but with the definition ever changing and celebrity culture always moving forward, the word can have multiple meanings. Hopefully the London Olympics has taught us the true meaning of celebrity, and how we should be celebrating those who have actually achieved something rather than those who are just trying too hard to become famous. Reality television is still a big part of our culture though, and it's likely to stick around for a few years more, as we can generally relate to the ordinary people we see on these types of shows. However, celebrity culture will keep moving forward, 
and maybe in 100 years time, we'll be celebrating a brand new type of famous person.